We're back. All yes, right. after you. Yeah, welcome back to Drug Quest. Order, order. What oh the my holy gosh. shit? The Edgeworth. defendant's cell phone? This wasn't brought to my attention. Holy shit, okay. Perhaps Detective Gumshoe overlooked it? The good detective better remember he's up for evaluation soon. Grumble, 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 grumble. Wait, I'm gonna say, I'm starting to feel bad for the big fella. Yeah, I'm sure doesn't deserve Let's hear this. the conversation. Beep. Beep. So, you just want me... To, oh, wait, hang on. So, you just want me to hold on to the thinker for you, then? If you could. Uh, I should probably... Oh, sorry. Uh, I should probably tell you the clock isn't talking right now. Huh? It's not working? That's lame. I have to take the clockwork out. Sorry. September 5th, 927 AM. Beep. Your Honor, I think this makes it clear the clockwork was already gone by the time this was recorded. Which was well before the witness even arrived at her hotel. <laughs> <laughs> well, Miss May, would you care to explain this to the court? Just how did you know the weapon was a clock? Jesus, all right, well, well, isn't, isn't it obvious? I saw that clock before. Um, what store was it again? I go to so many. Oops, I forgot. Oh, it was made though. Right, by, by so, Larry Butts. So the witness had seen it before. That would make sense. Sorry. Does the defense have any objections, Mr. Wright? Yeah. Yes. The witness claimed she had seen it before. But this directly contradicts a piece of evidence already submitted to this court. Well then, let's hear it. Please produce this evidence that will prove the witness has not seen the clock before. You bastard. Made by Larry Butts. <laughs> right. It's simple. This clock was never in any store, ever. What? A friend of mine made that clock. Only two exist in the world, and the one that isn't here isn't in police custody. Impossible. Everything is sold in stores. <laughs> okay. Miss May, I think it's high time you went shopping for a better excuse. Wow. Mm. Oh? Excuse is not on sale today? Ooh, oh. <laughs> She's getting pissed. Oh, oh my god. wow, wow, wow. The heart's turning. Holy <laughs> she shit. Did, oh my god, she did a full spinel. Yeah, holy shit. Oh god. Now what? I'm scared okay. and horny. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> What's it to you, porcupine head? That stupid clock doesn't matter, okay? She did it, and she should die for it. Die! The pose came back. <laughs> of course it did. Whoa, 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 whoa. What the absolute fuck? <laughs> yeah, he's really he's like, what the fuck just happened? <laughs> Let's not get ahead of ourselves. This is a court of law, and the witness will remain calm. Oh, 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 oh. Silly me! Did I, um, like, lose it? <laughs> I guess I did. Shit, man, this is terrifying. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm with Phoenix. <laughs> Miss May, let me ask. Tell me, how did you know the weapon was a clock? Ooh, ooh boy. Damn, she's pissed. Hmm. Oh dear. Does the defense have an opinion on this behavior? Okay, this is it. Yes, Your Honor. Allow me to explain how I see the truth in the matter. Miss April May, you knew the weapon was a clock because... You held it. Oh. No, 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 she didn't hold it. She had the wiretap. Oh, that's right. He, the guy, did it. Yeah. The witness had never held the clock in her hand. However, she had heard that it was a clock. She heard? That is correct, Your Honor. There was no other way she could have known the thinker was a clock. And I can show you the proof. Well, this is interesting. Let's see it then. Show me evidence proving that the witness had heard the murder weapon was a clock. And <laughs> Have a look at this. Oh, Ooh, God. that. <laughs> I found this in Miss May's room. Your detectives are shit. <laughs> I was just going to say. Mr. Wright, please explain to the court what this is. Miss April May, you were tapping the victim, Miss Mia Faye's phone, were you not? Uh. Objection. <laughs> Objection. Your Honor, this is irrelevant. Not entirely sure that it is. Overge Objection overruled. It troubles me that our witness was in possession of a wiretap. 
This is outrageous. Does, this, does the defense truly claim that the witness was tapping her phone? Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> Even if that was the case, which it's not, you still have to prove one thing. Did the victim ever say that the weapon was a clock on the phone? <laughs> can you prove that? I think not. Oh yeah? I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. It's simple. Okay. Someone remix that. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh god, I went full Tim Allen. <laughs> Here's my proof. The proof that the victim said on the phone that the weapon was a clock is... The phone! But let me check. <laughs> let um, me yeah. check. Yeah, okay, Mia, it's a clock. That was it's the goddamn phone record again. I present the defendant's cell phone again. Yes, we've seen that. Listen once more to the conversation between the defendant and the victim. Mia, what's up? You haven't called in a while. Well, actually, there's something I want you to hold on to for me. Again? What is it this time? It's a clock. End of conversation. <laughs> it's made to look like the statue, the thinker, and it tells you the time. Miss April May used a wiretap to listen to this conversation. That's how you knew the thinker was a clock. Am I wrong? I... I... Jesus, dude. Can let it go. Yeah, it Your down. Honor, this is ridiculous. Your Honor, look at the witness's face. Does she seem amused to you? The defense demands an answer. Um, uh, scary. <laughs> Witness, answer the question. Did you tap her phone? <sighs> Miss May. Shut up, all of you! What gives you the right to talk to me like that? You, you lawyer! That's all right. Not, you, that's not an insult. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's silent. Right. Both funny. lawyers are like, um... <laughs> it's not, it's no fair. All of you ganging up would be like that. Oh, I'm so I'm the bad girl. Is that it? I'm the uh, that's it. Da, 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 da. I'm the bad guy. Aww. Oh, she's crying, even though she did it. <laughs> that did it. The corns, the corn, the corn, <laughs> the children of the corn, <laughs> the courtroom of the corn. The court's seen the wrist. The... Oh Jesus Christ! The real Miss April May. Now I have to read this like a wrestling announcer if I'm gonna actually pronounce things correctly. Now to deal the final blow. Why the wiretap? Why the wiretap? Yeah. Why did you tap her phone? Answer the question. Sit. <laughs> Do I have to? Yes. Isn't this a murder trial? Isn't tippity, wait, tippity tapping or irrelevant? Yeah, she's saying exactly what Edgeworth wants her to say. Miss May. Are you being coached? <laughs> <laughs> you were tapping the victim's phone. It's back. I hardly call that irrelevant. While this court does not condone the defense's tone of voice, he has a point. <laughs> <laughs> Fair. Well, Miss May, do you have an explanation for the court? Can you prove you had nothing to do with this murder, even though you tapped her phone? <laughs> I'd like to see her pull that off. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Lawyer, I saw that evil, evil grin. You were probably thinking I'd like to see her pull that off, weren't you? <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> yeah. She's good. <laughs> well, you're not the first man who's thought that. And of course I can and will. You can't be serious. No way. I'm with I'm with Phoenix on this. Like, yeah. god damn it. Way I say, way. Oh, and I assure you I'm serious, Mr. Lawyer. <sighs> okay, so the killing happened around 9 at night. Why, that's just when I was getting room service from that sweet bellboy. She wouldn't have been room able to service. see it. Yeah. Iced coffee, I believe it was. Iced coffee? You know, like normal coffee, but cold. If you don't drink it quick, the ice melts, and then you have regular cold coffee. Way more water than coffee. Iced coffee? Think I'm making this up? Ask the bellboy. Ink! <laughs> Ergo, the witness was not on the scene at the time of the murder. She also couldn't have seen it. Right, if that's the case, then how would she have seen the murder? Yeah. So where does that leave us? It is my great displeasure to inform you that the witness appears to have been tapping the victim's telephone. However, that is a separate crime with no bearing on the current case whatsoever. The testimony stands she saw the defendant Maya Faye commit murder. Now they're going to let her just walk away. 
There's no way I can win this unless I time Miss May or Miss May to the murder somehow. Miss Maya to the murder. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> strike that from the ring. Yes. Stenographer, please. <laughs> you tackle the stenographer. <laughs> You're just like, no, pause it, pause it. Right. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You just hear the tapping, tapping, and then just... <laughs> oh, well. Well, does the defense have anything to say? Um, well, come on. Think of something. Think of something. Uh, call, call the, the bellboy. Boy. Yeah. The, the defense boy. would like to call the hotel bellboy yeah. as a witness. I'm so sorry. I still have alarms on my phone from when I'm at school. Oh, boy. There's something <laughs> suspicious here, and I'm going to get to the bottom of it. I think you've sunk in quite low enough already. Objection! I object to calling the bellboy. Why? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> why? <laughs> like, but like, why though, dude? Because I hold that the wiretapping had nothing to do with the killing, of course. But she could have known the person who did it. Right. However, if you agree to one condition, I'll consent to calling this witness. Condition? Miss May... If Miss April May's alibi is not called into question after you examine the bellboy, then you will recognize that Miss April May was not the killer, thus she is innocent. And thereby, you must also ex accept the verdict of guilty for Miss Maya Faye. That is my condition. Okay. W what? You can do that. Better, yeah, I better find some suspicion in that bellboy's testimony. Otherwise, I will be declared guilty on the spot. What should I do? So of course, I have to. Have I mean, to. I can't just give up. Yeah. But, so... I don't know. High risk, high reward. You know? Yeah. Um, Nothing to lose except everything. We just need to prove that it, that sh that she knows uh, White. Right. Is it, was that his yeah. name? Yeah. White. I can't remember if it is. Okay. Understood. I accept your condition. Hmm. Fool. Fell right into my trap. Are we playing Yu-Gi-Oh now? Like <laughs> you've activated my trap card. Uh oh. <laughs> uh, wait. <laughs> Very well. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Jesus, very well. The court calls the hotel bellboy to the stand. Wait, was the per- I, I'm, I'm confused with all the names from everybody. I'm so sorry. Here we go. His name is Bellboy. No. I the... believe we're ready for the witness to testify. He certainly does look like a bellboy. I thought his name was well, White, so it's fine. Sorry. No, <laughs> Judge's name is Judge. You had to bring- Yes, sir. I received your son as a note of work, so I'd be happy to be of service. <laughs> that tea set looks rather heavy, so without further ado... He's even got tea biscuits. I know, can we have some? <laughs> the witness may begin his testimony. He just starts handing them out to everybody. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Very good, sir. Here's a cookie for you. Yes, thanks. <laughs> it's Alfred. Oh, God. It's Alfred! <laughs> and we already have Michael Caine. We can't have Batman's, like, two iteration. I so. don't know. Miss May's room service. Miss May's room service. I'm the head bellboy at the Game Water Hotel, in business for four generations. I believe I received a call after 8 o'clock in the evening from our guest, Miss May. She asked for an iced coffee to be brought to her at 9 o'clock on the dot, sir. I brought it to her at precisely the requested time, of course. And I delivered the iced coffee to our guest, Miss May herself. Oh, I see. The defense may begin cross e its cross examination. Right, I'm ready, I hope. This is it. I can't prove Miss May was involved with the murder now. Maya will be finished. So, question timing? I, yeah, no, because if it was at nine exactly, then, you know. Couldn't have seen it. Alright. Four generations. Blah, 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 blah. I guess she has her ice coffee to be. I, I want to test eggs. Yep. Yes. Yes. Precisely nine o'clock then? Precisely, exactly. Most definitely, sir. Nine o'clock p.m. How can you be so sure? Miss May was quite insistent that it be brought in then. Oh, Bellboy, tea. I'd like, like an iced coffee at exactly nine o'clock. Something like that, sir. <laughs> Therefore, I knocked on your door at the crack of nine o'clock, sir. She used to be so particular about the time. Uh, maybe the next one. Uh... Maybe, I don't know. Yeah, let's try it. Hold it. You're sure it was Miss April? Oh, God damn it. Absolutely, sir. Absolutely. Absolutely? Yes, sir. As in so very absolutely, sir. It's an endearing mannerism of mine. How come you're so very certain? Oh, whoa. Well, when I brought the room service, sir, she 
The guests that have favored me with them. And I'm bad. Uh, it's so sad. You did not say that at all. <laughs> oh. Oh, I thought it. Okay, I, I really said embrasse. 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 Is that French for embrace? It's French for a kiss, sir. But not a French kiss, sir. More of a pick on the cheek. But why would she have done that? To make sure she remembered. I believe perhaps she was momentarily swayed by my prim demeanor, sir. There's a moment I shall never, ever forget, sir. That's why. <laughs> Pretty fishy to me. I think Miss May was up to something and wanted the bellboy to remember her. Yup. Hmm. <laughs> it's no good. There's nothing there. Is that it? <sighs> Wait. What the f what, the what are you doing? <laughs> Finally, you understand. The bellboy had absolutely no reason to lie. Now, if you have any decency, you will end this rather tedious cross-examination here. Hmm. It was a bit tedious. The witness may leave the stand. Can't let this happen, can I? Protest! Protest! protest. I protest yes. it. <laughs> wait! Please wait! Yes, does the defense have something to add? One last question. Let me ask one last question. Objection! Your Honor, I must object. This charade of justice has gone on long enough. Now, now, Mr. Edgeworth. All right, Mr. Wright, I'll give you one more question, that is all. Okay. This is really it now. This is my last chance. <sighs> what do I ask him about? Shit. Bed making? What the fuck? Um, will it be the room service? Or, like, when she checked in? Did she check in with anybody else? Because she asked for it two. The word gla Yeah, let's do check-in then. Tell me about check-in. Tell me about when you checked in Miss May. Oh, alright. Very well, sir. My first thought was she was a beautiful, beautiful person. She's just my type of girl, so it was a disappointment, really. I see. Disappointment? Excuse me, what exactly was a disappointment? Well, I'm not without charm, sir, but even I'd have little chance with her lover there. <gasps> what did he say? What did you say? <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, 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 rather, quite. Huh? Quite. Bellboy, tell us the truth now. <laughs> Shit, right. Did Miss Maya May check in with another person? Did you just say Maya May? Maybe. You said Maya May. <laughs> the stenographer will reflect. I object. That was uh, objectionable. <laughs> no, no, it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> Objection overruled. The witness will answer the question. Uh, yes, I see. Why did you not mention this in your testimony? W well, sir, you were—you didn't ask. Nice try. Mm -hmm. That's the sort of thing you're not nor you're, you're normally supposed to mention. <laughs> you're not normally supposed oh, to mention. Oh, yes. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> <laughs> you just keep Quite. fucking up your questioning. Indeed. It was the, uh, uh good, uh, barrister there, Mr. Edgeworth, who... <gasps> Coached you. He asked me not to mention it if I wasn't specifically asked, sir. Uh, ooh. <laughs> you, you fool! Yeah, we did it, buddy! I've done it. I've won. I've won! You have, like, Link from Zelda. <laughs> I <I'm> win! win. <laughs> yeah. Miss April May checked in to a twin room with a man. With Correct? a man? Yes, sir. Then when you brought them room service, you didn't see that you didn't see that man in the room? That's right, sir. Mm. Your Honor, <laughs> we have just learned of another person involved who may have been the murderer. In light of this new fact, I hold that it's impossible to judge the defendant. Wouldn't you agree, Mr. Edgeworth? And who, Mr. Wright? Who is this other person? Simple, it was The man with Yeah, the yeah. man with me. We just okay. We we've addressed this. The man who checked in with Miss May. Mm. Oof. Your Honor, as has been previously revealed, Miss April May was tapping the victim's phone, yet Miss May herself has an alibi at the time of the murder. However, that does not clear the man that was with her. The bellboy saw no one else in the room at the time of the murder. My, what a convenient little setup. But it's too late. Too late? Suppose you'd like it if it was too late, wouldn't you? <laughs> I come early. I was just gonna after say. all, it was you who hid the presence of the other man from this court. <laughs> I'm gonna have a heart attack. <laughs> Does anyone else smell toast? <laughs> Amateur. <laughs> These accusations are ludicrous. 
cat. Is somebody making breakfast and the bellboy's just like right there making uh, toast? Y- yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I got a little bit bored. <laughs> Enough. The court acknowledges the defense's argument. I expect the prosecution and defense to look into this matter fully. Am I understood? Yes. Uh, yes, Your Honor. He's 27. You're too young to have a heart attack. <laughs> well... Uh, There's enough okay. cheese in the world to Okay. okay. <laughs> That's all today for the trial of Maya Fay. Court is adjourned. Smack. Oh, boy. Nice. Good job, everybody. Uh, some other time. I don't know what day it was in the first <laughs> place. Mr. Ray, you were amazing in there. Really? <laughs> Wait, really? <laughs> yeah. I think I might be your newest fan. Oh, I was just doing my job, you know. <laughs> then again, the other attorney was pretty cool, too. Oh, well, why don't you just get fucking training cards, okay? <laughs> <laughs> that face of his with his... Bo- <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Read it. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not reading that shit. No, fuck off. Oh, with his eyes no, no, wide, no, 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 trembling no, 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 no. lips. It's so uncomfortable. It's like a fan fiction. <laughs> it sends shivers on my spine. I hate mm. it. If you say so, it sent them down my spine. What? So, what happens with me? <laughs> Do I get to go home now? Um, well... No. No, I don't think so, not yet. Oh, I see. But but I got I got a, a, oh, sorry. But I got a great lead in today's <laughs> trial. I thought it was... A lead? The man with Miss May. He's the key. Oh, I get it. What happened to Miss May after that, anyway? I heard they arrested her. I guess she's learning her charms won't work everywhere. She's probably at the detention center now. That's probably, where you're going. Yeah, probably, probably in the room next to you. She may have to go down there later. Anyway, <laughs> this case is far from closed. Yes, sir. What? Okay. I'm going to find out more about this man. You think he was the one who... Maybe so. Sis... Don't worry, I'll find out wh- what happened to your dead sister by tomorrow, I promise. Come on, man. <laughs> I'm counting on you. Well, yeah, no one else is in- on your side of the ring. <laughs> As for a full record of Miss April May's testimony, I thought it might come in handy during the trial tomorrow. But now that I have it, I'm not so sure. Most of her testimony was all lies. In fact, there's only one part that hasn't been stricken from the record. Uh, the victim dodged an attack right at the right, but she was caught and struck. A smooth criminal. I don't know how much good this will do me at all now. Especially with the strong stenographer recording every single slip-up that I made. <laughs> Including one just now. Anyway, time to hit the pavement and do some investigating. Mine doesn't belong in that detention center. April May does, and it's up to me to set her free. That rhymes. That was great. Yes. To, to be, be continued. continued. Holy shit. Uh, well, okay. we're gonna take a Save? minute. Yeah. Save it. Yeah, we're gonna overwrite it. Yep. I need to blow my nose. This is ridiculous. Oh god. Can I get a Here, Yeah, here's next... this. I, I will cut the audio. <laughs> Thank you. Ugh. Hang on. I'm still blowing my nose. No, this is all getting cut. Yeah. I think I got it. Okay. Yeah, just tell me when you're ready. Yeah. Well, don't start reading. Just tell me now. I'm ready. <laughs> Fucking Jesus. All right. I have something to cut. Yeah. Okay. Anyway. Well, hello. I didn't expect anyone to visit me in such a... <laughs> 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 it, it, you know, it's a good thing I edited that joint right there. <laughs> It's really quite moving. What? Not, you stinking lawyer. I hope you die. Have you come to laugh? Yes, <laughs> laugh at the fall of Miss May. <laughs> yeah. Shut <laughs> <laughs> the fuck up, okay. man. Come on. Anyways, no, not really. I mean, maybe a little. There's something I wanted to ask. Unfortunately, there's nothing I want to be asked. Haven't you done enough questioning, you spiky head? Here we go again. Please, you're scaring the security guard. See how moved he looks? <laughs> he's like sweating and shit. <laughs> he's not moving, but he's just sweating. <laughs> so what? what is it you wish to ask of me then, hmm? For starters, how did you get to be so totally whacked? Uh... <laughs> Salmon. Oh. We can't examine anybody. Let's talk. <laughs> what if I just left? You just fucking just, straight up left. She's like, what did you want to ask? I'm like, yeah, I'm leaving. No, we're good. That man. But the man who stayed with you in your hotel room. Can you tell me about him? Where is he? Come on. 
No way, Jose. Hmm. We had something to get her to talk. The wire tap. Your attitude. <laughs> All right. Why did you place a wire tap on Mia's phone? Aw, when you say it like that, it sounds so cold, so criminal. You've been arrested. Um, tapping people's phone is a crime, Miss May. Oh, and I suppose you learned that in lawyer school, hmm? Yeah. Creep. Well, it clearly doesn't this seem like you right. went to lawyer school. <laughs> <laughs> this woman is impossible to talk to. Say, why are you so angry? I mean, you don't look like a bad person. Ooh, that does it, bottom feeding scum sucking lawyer. Bottom? What that? <laughs> That's it. Does she have a thing against lawyers or just against me? Is that all? We're leaving. We're leaving. <laughs> We're out of here. No, 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 wait. With, present her with what? Fair enough. I'm a lawyer, okay? Ugh, okay. Um, Gatewater Hotel? Might be something there. Whoa! What whoa. the fuck? That looks different. We're going Let's there. Go there. We're going yeah. there. We're going there. <laughs> the painting's gone. Mm. Holy shit. Looks like Grossberg is out today. Again, <laughs> he's avoiding me for some reason. Examine the painting. Yeah, where, where's, where's that big boy? He said he wouldn't part with. Wait a second. Wasn't there a giant painting hanging, hanging on that wall? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a painting of uh, Fisherman. Fisherman. Of Grossberg. <laughs> right. Wasn't it? It wasn't a. It wasn't a very memorable painting, anyhow. I mean, it kind of was. Yes and no. Trust and Boar statue. Wait, uh, wait, wait. wait there's books? something on his desk. Something. Yeah, books. We already. Oh, yeah. There's shit on his desk. Here we go. What's this? Old photos? There are two lying here. Something's been written in pencil on backs. DL6 incident exhibit A and DL6 incident exhibit B. Damn. Let's take a look at these. Uh, exhibit A. Lady. I'm sure <laughs> I've seen this person somewhere. Perhaps I'll borrow this photo. I'm sure no one will miss just one little photo. It might be a valuable clue. I'll take it for now. Nice. Oh, interesting. Photograph quietly added to the record. Let's look at the other thing. <laughs> oh, Jesus, Jesus Christ. Photo lies on the desk of an, of a, of an old drag queen. <laughs> Do we want to swap it? Yeah. Yeah. I think I'll swap them. Oh, God. It's... Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> yeah. It's so uncomfortable. Um, I don't think I got, anything's like, changed. Else. Yeah, let's, let's get out of here. It, it's just... <laughs> That's how it's gonna be. It's just there. That's oh it. Oh my god. Um, well, I got nothing else to do but move. Uh, let's go back to our office or the hotel. Uh, okay. Like here. Looks like forensics is taking the day off today. Gumshoes nowhere in sight. The police really gave this place a working over. <laughs> Not there any valuable clues left. This can't hurt to take a look around though. Examine my own office. Right. Plant. Uh, plant. <laughs> His favorite potted plant. Guess I'll have to water it now. Oh, well, now it's <laughs> well, a burden. Well, fuck me, yeah. you know? <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna get anything here. Okay, the hotel? Yeah. It's Timber 303. Yeah. Holy Jesus. <laughs> oh, welcome, sir. Quite the performance today, if I dare say so myself. Oh, uh, thanks. Sorry for putting you on the spot like that. No, no, not at all, sir. Your efforts today can only help the get waters rep, as they say. Oh, God. Huh? Rep? Yes, our reputation will swell as a hotel where the murderer used a wiretap. We can charge a premium for the room, of course. It'd be great for business, sir. No, what, we can't profit off this. This man has been charged with murder. I, too, will become famous. Oh, the bellboy who brought the murderer iced coffee. I feel like we're both stuck in the same bad dream. Yeah. So I want to guess. Please let me know if there's anything I can bring you. Evidence? Yeah, let's let's have, uh, let's examine some shit and talk to her. About Miss May. Oh, her, sir. Not to boast, but I knew the moment I saw her. She'd do it, I said. I don't. Do what? I don't so think so. The most suspicious person here is this guy. Did you commit the murder? <laughs> I want to ask you about the man who was with Miss May. Ah, oh, yes. He struck me as a real lady killer, if you'll pardon the expression. Oh, God, I hate it. I knew from the moment I saw him, sir. He and I are the same ilk. We both carry the scent of... younger. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> there we are in total agreement, Mr. Psycho Bellboy. If you had a photo of... Oh. Mm -hmm. Is it oh? that guy? Is it that guy? Oh? What? Let's what go back. Go, okay. go back. Go yeah, back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Is it I mean, man? he looks dangerous, and I they gave me a photo of him, so like... 
Take a look at this photo. It just shoves it in his face. Oh, that's him. To oh, oh my shit. fucking god. That's nice. him, detective. I'm, I'm the lawyer. <laughs> oh, I know that. I don't I, think you shit, do. There's a lot for us to unpack. I almost feel like this would be where we need to like go to the next episode because like this is a lot now. Yeah, this is. I found a bigger. photo of like, I want to this of a dude who looks like he stole someone else's face. <laughs> And he's wearing, like, a drag wig. Yeah. So let's leave it for the next episode. How about that? Okay. All right. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye.